And the way that she ended that statement, you know, in Puerto Rico, you can find both of those things. If this was a microphone, she was like, oh, mic drop. Mic drop, no questions asked. Oh my God. Hello everyone, welcome once again to my channel. It's your boy Luis Fortellas and for today's video we have a very special reaction because we are going to be talking about Tracy Marine Paris performance during the head-to-head -head challenge part two in Miss World. Quite frankly, I thought that I was not going to talk again about Miss World until the end of Miss Universe but because everyone has been sending me this link to this video, I told myself, you know, there must be something good here. Let me take a moment to review it and then, you know, I'll give you some of my opinion and my thoughts about Tracy's head-to-head uh, -head performance. Now, before we get into the video, I would just like to take a moment to acknowledge the fact that Tracy has been doing so well and being so consistent all throughout this competition so far. And I think that a lot of us in the beginning kind of like underestimated her or what she's able to accomplish within the competition. I remember the night of the coronation for Miss World Philippines, a lot of people were making memes about her falling and this and that. But the more that we get into the international version of Miss World, the more that we realize that this woman has been through a lot of challenges in life and that it feels right for her to be doing this competition. So as usual, I do hope that you enjoyed this video and if you do, please don't forget to leave a like so that it gets recommended to more people. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one almost every single day. And last but not least, let me know in the comment section what you think about Tracy's performance, her delivery, and anything else that you want to express yourself about. So without further ado, my friends, let's get into today's reaction. I really, really hope that you enjoy it. Today we have with us our head-to-head -head challenge finalists. We have Philippines. <laughs> this year, the final decision will be based on two speeches. First, the contestants will go head-to-head -head and have two minutes to present their Beauty with a Purpose projects. It's important to note that in this moment, they will not be judged on the basis of their project, but on how well they deliver and convey their purpose. Next, the finalists will be asked to leave the room and be welcomed back one by one, where they have the opportunity to become representatives and ambassadors of Puerto Rico and tell the world why everyone should come to the lovely island. The Mark finalist thinking. performance will be judged on quality of the content covered as well as presentation skills. However, this time, our judges, our lovely panel of judges, will deliberate and decide who will head into the semifinal of Miss World. Well, without further ado, let's begin. Reminder, ladies, you will be be timed, so be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> no now, pressure. Philippines. Okay, just before we get into the actual, you know, speech and the actual challenge, I will just like to say that I actually think that Miss World's format is very clever. And for those of you on my channel, you know that this is my first year covering. This presentation will allow the judges to not only get more familiar with each one of the candidates' Beauty with a Purpose project, but also to evaluate their communication skills. And at the end of the day, what will determine on whether they win or not this particular challenge will be the communication skills, but already getting in touch with the purpose that they have. So I think it's very clever. I also think that it's an amazing thing that they're taking the candidate's potential and using it for the purpose of promoting the country and the tourism and you know and really spreading the word. For this being my first year, I have to admit that I'm actually quite impressed. I feel like they really use the resources that they have as much as they possibly can. So good stuff. But let's keep watching and see how Tracy did. <laughs> A single mother's journey to love. That is my Beauty with a Purpose project and it's dedicated to my late mother and to all the single mothers in my community. Being a mother is the most important job, it's the most important role, yet oftentimes they are neglected. We fight so much, we talk so much about women empowerment, so why don't we start with empowering our mothers, most especially those who go through so much difficulties having to raise their families all on their own. Wow. Here in Miss World, we are given the chance to fight for causes, to open up meaningful conversations about problems that are otherwise neglected. And here I am, hoping to bring light and to spark a change, positive changes in the lives of single mothers. Back in my community in Cordova, Cebu, there are 2,000 single mothers. So imagine how much more there are in the rest of the world, but they are not give, they're not given the support, they're not given the help that they need. With my project, 
We give them a safe space, a community for them to feel loved, to feel that they are heard, that they are understood. More importantly, we give them continuous BPO and computer trainings that they can use to equip them with skills to land better opportunities out there, especially amidst the pandemic. It gives them hope that they can still go out there and learn new things and build a good life for their families because that is what I want for them. That is what they deserve. And that is what I would have wanted for my mom too if she was still here. That is my commitment and that is my dream. Thank you. Wow. Honestly, I'm I'm kind of speechless right now. I was not expecting her to deliver this good. Something that I really, really love and I appreciate and I admire about Tracy is how good of a communicator she is. Not just in being super eloquent and really be able to put her ideas together in a very rational and logical way, but also speak with empathy. You can feel that she is talking with a lot of emotion. She is feeling it. And perhaps it's because she has been talking from a place of experience, you know? I was honestly so, so shocked when I watched her uh, Beauty with a Purpose video and that she talked about her mother and, you know, all the struggles and her mother passing away. And never in a million years, I would imagine by just looking at her, that she had gone through so much as a kid and as a young woman. I feel like she truly embodies the spirit of resilience, you know, keep fighting no matter what, keep fighting for your dreams, no matter what obstacles life puts in your way and, you know, the difficulties that you might find along the way. Because coming from such a horrible, traumatic experience and being able to make it to Miss World and then represent the entire country with so much class. I'm just getting the chills right here. You could feel for a moment that as she was talking, her words were so impactful, so heavy, that everyone in the room was just like complete silence, just listening. You even saw the director of Miss World go like, you know, <laughs> she was feeling it. She was feeling it. Honestly, no complaints. Remarkable, remarkable work. Thank you, ladies, and thank you to our audience for supporting these empowering and very empowered women. While the judges deliberate, we'll ask the head-to-head -head challenge finalists to exit the room. As we welcome back our contestants, a quick reminder, it's your time to become a spokesperson for the tourism of Puerto Rico and tell the world why they should come enjoy the island. Yes, ladies, once you're finished, please feel free to return to your seat. And now... Okay, I feel like this one is going to be a little bit more challenging than the previous statement because, you know, you, it's expected that you will do the head-to-head -head challenge, right? So the candidates have time to prepare. They know what they want to say and put out there how they want to be perceived. But when you have to make a public statement about tourism, pretty much, and promoting Puerto Rico, uh, which is not her home country, I really wonder how she's going to attack this, how she's going to approach it. It's a mystery. Let's keep watching. As per the jingle that we're hearing, <laughs> it's time for Miss Philippines. Okay. Come on, Tracy. <laughs> Bienvenido a Puerto Rico. Oh. <laughs> Soy Tracy, enamorada eh? de este país caribeño. Mami, calaca. <laughs> Latina Talaga! Oh, oh I think I'm getting red just thinking of Tracy, you know, backstage practicing her Spanish. She sounds so good! I really like when the candidates put the extra effort and really, you know, try to assimilate the culture. They try to include themselves in the conversation. Be part of it, you know? Already this opening line, it's so important because if she's gonna be promoting Puerto Rico, it's important that she also is familiar with the culture, with the people, with the traditions, with so many different aspects. So I love to see the effort and oh my gosh, she's done so good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back because I want to see the entire thing from beginning to end without stopping, but I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Yes. Bienvenido a Puerto Rico. <laughs> Soy Tracy, enamorada de este país caribeño. Charot. <laughs> Welcome to Puerto Rico. This is Tracy, and I fell in love with Puerto Rico the moment I stepped foot in this Caribbean island. Oh, okay. So the very first time I landed here, it was about two or three weeks ago. And I was looking for my luggages because I have 10 from the Philippines. I didn't know anyone. I didn't know who to contact or how to contact anyone. And lo and behold, this Puerto Riqueña looked at me, 
smiled at me, approached me and said, hello, where are you from? Do you need anything? Do you need internet? Because I have some that I can share with you. Mm. And I was blown away. See, the best places in the world don't really need the most amazing and the most beautiful sceneries. They just have to have the best people. But you know what? Puerto Rico just happens to have both. From the white sand beaches, the abundant rainforests, the culture, the food, and the people, Puerto Rico has it all. It took me 40 hours to get here, but it was the best 40 hours of my life, and I will do Thank it all you, over again just to be here. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Oh my God. Oh my. Thank you very much, Philippines. Well, Okay, oh my god, you guys, you know what, Tracy was there, she was like, y'all can watch me deliver this speech, y'all can hear me, you can admire me if you want, but no one is touching this ground other than me, okay? In the beginning of the video, I was telling you about how I feel like we all underestimated her a little bit, but here Tracy is honestly proving that she is a strong competitor, a fierce competitor. I was not expecting her to speak Spanish. I was not expecting her to be so smooth and really so, so good when it comes just to her presentation skills. I think that what I really love the most about this final segment of the presentation is that she went with storytelling. Storytelling, automatically people in the room are gonna put themselves in her shoes and really feel what she's trying to communicate. So by talking about the way that she arrived in Puerto Rico and was lost and confused, did not have access to internet, and how a Boricua girl, so a Puerto Rican girl, uh, offered her some help and also to share her internet, she is actually already talking about the generosity, the kindness, how welcoming people from Puerto Rico are. And this is the way to really put these ideas and promote the country, the people and the culture, other than making like a, a typical tourist ad, you know, like on the beach or like walking around the city. I feel like this is more effective. People will connect to it on an emotional level. And the way that she ended that statement, you know, in Puerto Rico, you can find both of those things. If this was a microphone, she was like, oh, mic drop. Mic drop, no questions asked. Oh my God. I mean, oh, I love this so much. The judges have made their final decisions and it is now time to meet the eight contestants that will advance to the Miss World semifinals. Between Philippines and Mexico, winner is Philippines! As she should. Congratulations ladies and once again from the historic capital building of Puerto Rico here in San Juan this has been the 2021 head-to-head -head challenge final. We'll see you December 16th for the Miss World 2021 final. Amazing. Honestly, I have absolutely nothing to criticize when it comes to her performance here. Everything from her presentation, her level of connecting with the audience, you know, the, choosing the right terms and the right approach when it comes to her speech, storytelling. I feel like it was such a clever move. I am in awe of this woman. And the only thing is that I cannot forgive myself for kind of like underestimating her a little bit. I'm just being honest, you know? Uh, when I did the first reaction video, I was really mind blown by her story, but now I am just mind blown by how strong of a competitor she is. Philippines, you might be in for the crown. I don't know, I don't know, let's see. I promise you guys that as soon as we are done with Miss Universe, I will be covering Miss World a little bit more. It's very hard to, you know, keep up with both of them at the same time, but I promise you, I promise you, I promise you that as soon as Miss Universe is done, you will have more videos about Miss World. I will try to follow the pageant as much as possible and you will have so much content. Yes! All right, my friends, so if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave a like so that it gets recommended to more people. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one almost every single day. And last but not least, let me know in the comment section what did you think about Tracy's performance, my comments, my feedback, all of it. Go ahead and express yourself. And before you go, as usual, just come here and give me a hug because that's a little tradition on the channel. I know that I love you, that I appreciate you. Thank you for coming and spending a few moments out of your day here with me. <laughs> And until I see you next time, everyone, please stay safe, be kind to one another, sending you all my love, all my kisses, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!